Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how to solve ratio word problems. So we're going to take a look at, at ratios and, um, and the tool that we're going to use is to set up a table. So we're going to set up a table with the ratio and a multiplier and a total. And that's going to help us solve a lot of different um, variations of ratio word problems. And then I've got five sample problems that I'm going to go over. Let's take a look. Alright, so let's take a look at ratios. So a ratio can either be written with a colon or the word 2. So both of these things represent a ratio of 3 to 5. So an example would be the ratio of apples to oranges is 3 to 5. For every 3 apples that we have, there is also 5 oranges. Now we don't know how many total we have, so we could have 3 apples and 5 oranges, or we could have 6 apples and 10 oranges or 9 apples and 15 oranges what the ratio tells us is those apples and oranges come in a set of three apples to five oranges so if we have that same ratio apples to oranges is three to five what would be the fraction of to of the total that are apples so we're going to have Three is a numerator, but the denominator is the three plus the five, because the three and the five represents the apples and the oranges, so the total is going to be eight. So the fraction of total that are apples is going to be three out of eight, and the fraction of total that are oranges are going to be five out of eight. So now let's take a look at how we would set up a table to solve a ratio problem. So let's go back to that same ratio of apples to oranges, it's three to five. And if the problem is there's 40 pieces of fruit in total with that ratio, so how many pieces of the total fruit are going to be oranges? So we're going to set up a table. The top line of the table is going to be the ratio. The second line is going to be the multiplier. And then the third line is going to be our total. And in the columns, we're going to have the two things that we have the ratios for. But then we're also going to include a total column as well. So to fill in that first line we've got a ratio of three to five on apples to oranges and then we just add those to put the total for eight so this tells us that there's 40 pieces total so that's going to go right down in the lower right hand corner so the total number of pieces is 40. then from there we can figure out the multiplier so eight to 40 is a multiplier of five so we've got to multiply by five so if we're multiplying the total by five then both the ratios also get multiplied by 5 as well. And that'll allow us then to figure out the total number of apples and the total number of oranges by using that multiplier. So 3 times 5 gets us 15, 5 times 5 gets us 25. And to answer this question, how many oranges are there? There's 25 oranges. And it can ask any variation of um, those pieces of information, and we can be given any of those various pieces of information, but setting the table allows us to solve all those different types of problems. Okay, let's take a look at these five ratio word problems. First word problem says that we have 25 students, 11 of them are male, and we want to find the ratio of female to male students in the class. So if we've got 25 total and 11 are male 25 minus 11 or 14 are female now when you write the ratio um, you want to see which one we're referring to first so we want female to male so we're going to write that as 14 to 11 because we write the female one first female 14 to 11 All right, the next problem says we have an 84 foot rope. We're gonna cut into two pieces with a ratio of two to five. How long is the smaller piece? So this we're gonna set up a table for. So we're gonna set up the ratio of two to five. So that's the smaller piece and the larger piece. And then the total is gonna be seven. We're just gonna add the two with the two and the five together. Then we're gonna leave room for a multiplier and then the total that we know is the total is going to be 84. 
So now from there we can figure out what the multiplier is. 84 divided by 7 is 12, so the multiplier is times 12, which means we've got to also multiply the other 2 times 12 as well. And then our two pieces are going to be 2 times 12, which is 24, and 5 times 12, which is 60, so the smaller piece is going to be 24. All right, in the next problem, we've got a bag containing red and blue candies. It tells us the ratio of red to blue is 3 to 5, and that there's a total of 90 blue candies. So again, we're going to set up a ratio table. So red and blue, the ratio that we're setting up is 3 to 5 with a total of 8. We're going to calculate the multiplier in a minute. The total that we know is 90, but that's for the blue candies. So that's going to go in the middle column. So the, we have 90 total blue candies. So now to figure out the multiplier, 90 divided by 5 is 18. So we've got to multiply by 18, which means all the other pieces are also multiplied by 18. So to figure out how many total candies there are, 8 times 18 gets us 144. And if you'd like to complete the table, you could do 3 times uh, 18 as well. But that's the piece of information that we're looking for in this particular problem. All right, the fourth problem. A cookie recipe calls for a ratio of flour to sugar to chocolate of 5 to 2 to 1. If you're using 10 cups of sugar, how much flour and chocolate chips should you use? So let's set up a table. Now we're just going to have an extra column in the table. So in the table we're going to have flour, sugar, and chocolate. So our ratio is going to be 5 to 2 to 1. And we're going to add a total of 8. Um, we might not use the total in this one, but um, it usually helps to put the total. So if we're talking about what the total amount is, we can use that as well. The multiplier, we're going to leave space for that. And then the total that we know is that we have 10 cups of sugar. So the sugar column is here for 10. The multiplier is 5 because 2 times 5 is 10. All our multipliers are always the same. So we've got 25 cups of flour that we need and five cups of chocolate chips that we need. All right, and in the last problem, the angles of a triangle are in a ratio of two to five to eight. What's the size of the largest angle? And let's just remember here that the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So we're gonna have a ratio of two to 5 to 8 and we're going to put a total in of 15 and those are our that's our ratio line leave space for a multiplier line and here we know 180 is the total for all the angles together so that's going to go right there that'll allow us to figure out the multiplier 180 times 15 is 12 and that means everything is multiplied by 12. So then our angles are going to be 24, 60, and 96. So to answer this particular question, the largest of the angles is right there, which is 96. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments on this video or suggestions for future videos, just comment below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right over here. And I've got another suggestion for you to watch right here. Thank you and come back again soon.